Today I have a special episode for you. Hey there, welcome back. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tiffany. If you follow me, you already know that the vast majority of my decor comes from the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill bins, and my Christmas decor is no exception to that. I like to shop for seasonal items year round, so today I'm going to be showing you what I did with some of those items that I collected and how I styled them in my home this season. I want to thank Roborock for sponsoring today's video. Now let's head off to the Goodwill outlet. As I mentioned, I shop seasonal decor year round. This is a great way to get deals because you won't have much competition. I also find it fun to pull everything out and see what I've gathered throughout the year. I really liked these three wooden Christmas trees, but they weren't quite my style, so I gave them a little makeover. When I started painting this lettering, I quickly realized that it was not going to be as easy as I thought. It ended up being pretty messy, so I ended up sanding the top down to clean it up, and ultimately I ended up liking the end result better. There are a few items that I did purchase new, including these stockings and our Christmas tree. So I'll have those linked for you guys if you wanna go check them out. This year, I decided to bring just a touch of Christmas into my office. Speaking of things in my office, this leads me to today's sponsor, Roborock. The Dyad Pro is a wet, dry vacuum that allows me to mop my floors without having to first sweep or vacuum. This has been a huge help and allows me to quickly and easily take care of messes so I can spend less time worrying about cleaning and more time focusing on what is really important this season. And I love that with the Dyad Pro, messes like this are no big deal. It has several different modes, including eco mode, auto, which adjusts the cleaning power according to how dirty your floors are, max mode, and floor drying mode. Once done cleaning, just put it back on this dock and it will charge itself. If you push this button, it will clean those rollers, or if you prefer it to do that at a later time, you can schedule that within the app. And once it's done cleaning itself, you just empty out that tank and then you are done. If you're interested in checking this out, I'll have a link down in the description box for you. When I spotted this little guy, I thought he was cute as is, but I wanted to see if I could class him up a little bit.
Through the year, I've collected a lot of ornaments and done little makeovers on them. If you're wanting to switch up the look of your Christmas tree, you can easily do that with thrifted ornaments or just use the ornaments you already own and make them over. When possible, I love to put Christmas trees up against windows or mirrors. It multiplies those lights and creates such a beautiful effect. Every once in a while, I like to add a new mug to my collection. As you can see, I tend to stick to neutrals, but I love texture. So I was excited when I found this sweater mug. Typically, I have a large gather sign that hangs on my dining room wall, and recently I had a bit of an aha moment when I realized that I could make that sign reversible. If you happen to own a Cricut machine and would like to recreate this, I'll have that design linked down below, as well as a tutorial on how to make large signs like this. As a thrifter, if you can learn to take individual items and pair them to complement one another, this is a great way to decorate your home on a budget. One thing I love to do with sheer curtains is run my Christmas lights behind them. It creates a beautiful soft glow.
recently I picked up this Real Feel Garland. If I bought this new, I would have a really hard time cutting up, but because it was thrifted and I did not pay much for it, I don't have any problem cutting it. A few years ago, I was at the Goodwill outlet and they were clearing out their Christmas trees. I picked up this pre-lit tree for 99 cents and the kids have enjoyed having their own tree to decorate. Be sure to check that description box for links to any products or items shown today. And if you enjoyed this video, would you please do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I hope that you are feeling encouraged that you can create a festive home on a budget. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.